Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the whole of this column, and that will get me a copy of all of column B. But I don't want all of the column, I want just the part with values. So I will add in a full stop or a period if you're American, both in front of and after the colon. And that will get me just the part of the column that has values. Then I can put this inside of the take function. And this will allow me to take just part of the array. So if I put in the number one for rows, that will get me the first value in the array. And if I put in minus one, it will get me the last value. So we have now found the last number in this column. And we can test this by putting in another number underneath and it will update. But the take function will not work properly if you have errors in your column because it will just find the last value in the column even if that is an error. So in this case, we're going to use the lookup function. And the lookup value will be 1e300. So this is a really large number. It's 1 with 300 zeros after it. And then the array will be all of column F and close brackets and enter. And this gets me the last number in this column. And this works because the lookup function searches from top to bottom. And if it can't find the number that it's searching for, the result that it gives you is just the last number that it finds. And I've deliberately put in a number which is so big that there's no chance of it actually being able to find it. Then let's say that you want to include some sort of test. So say I want to find the last number in the column which is less than 10. I will add in a less than 10 test here, and that gets me a bunch of trues and falses. And I can then put them inside of an X lookup formula. And the lookup value that we will be searching for is the word true. Then this part here will be the lookup array, and the return array will be column J. And I will put full stops in here again so that we're searching for just the part of the column which has values. And then close brackets and enter. And at the moment, the X lookup function is searching from top to bottom. So it finds the first number in the column which is less than 10. But we can change the direction that the formula is searching in. If I edit this and add in a bunch of commas until we get to the search mode, you'll see that we have multiple options here. If I put in the number one, then it will search from first to last, although that is the default option, so it doesn't change anything. But I can also change this here to minus one, and then it will be searching from last to first. And so now it's searching from bottom to top. So the result that I get is the last number, which is less than 10. And you can edit this part of the formula here to be whatever test it is that you want. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to find the last number in a column in Excel. And that is everything.